Hey guys, so today I have my December favorites. Um, I was finally filling up to filming a little bit today, although I'm still sick. Hopefully I can get over this soon. I've been taking like the raw garlic and everything, trying to kick this thing, but it doesn't seem to want to go anywhere yet. So first of all, I'm going to start with some things, uh, oh, before I forget, um, one favorite, which for this past week. Um, since I got it in the mail from my sister-in-law, uh, this little necklace that says Joshua. And she just sent the charm and I put it on the chain. It says Joshua and it has a little garnet, obviously in memory of my little brother. Um, he would be 18 on January 6th. So it has a little garnet bead. And yeah, so I've been loving that. So thank you, Erica. And then of course, I have my... Michigan necklace which is from jane.com and they just kind of all wear either either one of these or um and they kind of layer well together so yeah so that is a favorite and then um some things I've been using more because of the colder weather lately um this was actually given to me a while back um but I've been using it a lot lately um because while I've had a cold and like been blowing my nose and everything I didn't really want to like a really colored like lipstick or lip gloss that could smear everywhere or anything and I needed something really moisturizing um, so this has been something I've been throwing on like for work and anytime um, it just has a very slight tint to it the um, dash of lavender lip conditioner by Mac I think this particular one was part of a collection um, I'm not sure which one maybe the Hey Sailor a while back. Like I said, it was given to me a while back. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah. So I have been look, liking that MAC lip conditioner. And then my MAC Prep and Prime Vibrancy Eye Primer. I've been using this when my under eyes feel dry. Um, I do, of course, use an eye cream as well in the morning, but then sometimes by the time I do my makeup, it just feels dry a little bit again, even though I have oily skin. And so I'll use that just under my eyes and it helps moisturize and prep for makeup. And then my Soap and Glory hand food. This is the best smelling hand cream of life. It smells so good, even though I can't smell like a whole ton right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, absolutely love this stuff. And it's just handy to have in my purse or anytime my hands get dry. And then um, I haven't been using this like all over my face lately because I've been really liking a super full coverage look. Um, but when my skin is extra dry, I've been using a little bit of my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint before foundation um, to just give a little bit of coverage and moisture um, so that I don't end up with like flakes and stuff after my foundation's done. So, yeah, and I have, this is the lighter shade that I have in linen. I always love Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. Just any time of year, it's great to have on hand. Um, whether you use it by itself or along with other things. It's just a fantastic um, tinted moisturizer with great coverage. And then, um, for foundation, a lot this month I did use... Um, since getting it, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless for normal to oily skin um, foundation. Um, again, this is again this is not full coverage. Um, I do need to layer it up a little and then use more concealer when I use this. Um, but it is a really great foundation and does last very well. I'm not sure how it'll do in the summer. Um, but hopefully it'll still hold up well. And I do really like it. And I do, again, I have the shade Classic Ivory. And then for primer, um, I've been loving my Tarte um, Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I feel like I'm gonna go through this really fast, so I need to kind of lay off. But, um, cause it does only come with half an ounce which I think their two primers come with a full ounce. I think, if I'm not mistaken, maybe. But anyway, 
Um, I do really like this. It does a great job of smoothing and everything, filling in pores and mattifying. So yes, I do really like that. And then when I did wear lipstick this month, um, wearing two all-time favorites, um, actually Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi here on YouTube, I'm sure you know who she is. Um, but in a lot of her Vlogmas videos in December, she put on MAC Syrup, which is obviously a favorite of mine too because it just has a little stubby left. <laughs> That's what I'm wearing today. Um, it's just a fabulous color, especially for fall and winter. And um, it's a luster, which I love because it just feels smooth and moisturizing. And it's just the perfect color for almost any skin tone too. And you could wear it any time of year. But yeah, that's just a really great lipstick. And then if I want something more pink, um, Cream Cup, of course, another favorite. This is my second one. Um, just a beautiful light pinky nude. <clears throat> and then for blush this month, I've been loving um, the two that I did said I was liking in my haul. I'm still loving um, Tarte Prim and Daydream. Prim is just a apricot pink. That's what I'm wearing today. Um, I just really love Tarte blushes. They go on so smooth and pigmented. Like I said before, they're just awesome blushes. And then Daydream, which is a plum nude. And that's just a really beautiful one too. And then for my hair this month, I've been using this a ton. And it smells so, so good. Um, it's the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. I've used a ton of it already because I'm basically using it almost as my daily conditioner because I was really low on regular conditioner. I need to get some. Hopefully this month because Ulta has a liter sale again. But, um, oh, it just smells like vanilla and sugar and powder. And it just smells amazing. But as you can see, I've used a ton of this already. And I need to slow down. But for the price, like if you use an Ulta coupon, you can get it for like around 10 bucks. I think it's like $12.99 regularly which is not bad at all, especially since you get 16.9 ounces. And it's just a really great mask. I love, 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 love it. So yeah, I would definitely repurchase this as well. And then as my heat conditioner, heat, heat protectant, um, both before I blow dry and then before I straighten, I'm um, using Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray, which I recently went back to because it's just super affordable and works great. Uh, it's like $3.99 at Target. Um, and I love the spray nozzle because you can just easily lock and unlock it. And the mist, it just spreads out into a nice fine mist so you don't end up with like soaking wet patches anywhere. Um, especially if you spray it on dry hair before heat styling. Um, so yeah, I really love that about it, and it's just a really great, affordable heat protectant. Um, this is something I used a while back for a long time, and I finally went back to it, and I'm really liking it again. So, that is it for my monthly favorites. Hopefully, next time I talk to you, I'll be feeling a little better, and... Hopefully I can get over this soon and not be sick for like another month. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that is it for my favorites. I hope you all had a good New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Today's New Year's Day. Um, yeah, and I will see you in my next video.